crimson robes and holy beads, anointed waters and oakwood seeds. Temple bells, lilting echoes, the gentle rustling of sacred leaves. A divine dance, languidly swaying. Bunyan trees. Ananda. Slim, sinewy, almost feline. A citadel of perfect harmony. Of matter and dreams. Of soul and form. Treading the unseen line where earth and the hemisphere divide. Is this the oasis of my dreams? And then He takes the final flight. A bow of silence. His eyes like embers glow perched on the precipice of divinity. Close them. Gaze through your soul and you shall walk through the hallowed doorways of eternity. So with eyes shut earnestly, he sat for ten utopian years under the swaying banyan trees. Long raven tresses billowing in the morning breeze, fingers rotating the sacred beads. Gods churning the cosmic wheels. Exposed to the elements. Oblivious of the searing heat. Till the millionth devotee had touched his glowing feet.
memories of a fading life, all immersed in the depths of time. Yet like a whirlpool rising in his mind, swirling through her lovely womb, echoes of his mother's voice. child why in the wilds do you roam like a wounded antelope what pain is it you hide sit by me son and bear your soul oh mother you are everything to me you are my creator the only god that i can see yet within me there is a constant call from the mountains and far beyond My soul leaves my body each night. Across timeless realms, it takes flight. This body, Ma, is a prison. A camouflage can find. This face, a masked disguise. I am the captor of my soul. Where I walk, entrapped, it must follow. I wonder. If it longs to be set free, I wonder what its realms may be. But for today, I am the mentor of my soul, and I must lead it to where it longs to go. Many worlds do lie between here. the stars between this earth and the skies a million energies singeing flames unhindered fires this is not the only order millions more wait at its drifting borders where the mind alone must travel and leave the body behind Our son is in a spell. The gods call him. I can tell. You come to me, my lovely wife. Almar ghare re chabi. Sit by me and talk a while. What? But what should we do to keep him home? Almar ghare. I cannot bear to think of us alone. Go to the village hall. Tell her I'll give her my boat and more. If she can use her lure to bring back Ananda to our door. Look at your eyes, our home is your home.
The night is hot and moist. Echoes of bangles. Hushed footsteps. Bells on ankles. Reveling in the ritual's delights. Junki sways gently into the night. Moonbeams gilding her body. Soft and light. Ananda stares in surprise. Should I surrender to the sensations of life? Embrace this sweet respite. Is this part of this order? This unleashed fire? Junki moves in measured steps. Gingerly brushes his winged chest. His raven tresses on soft shoulders rest. Sweet, heady fragrance. Her enticing breath. Struggling, resisting her final crest. Eyes ignite. Unveils her body to her feet. Skillful seductress. She slithers beside, weaving her form, half woman, half serpentine. Her movements a masterly craft Meditative, a mesmerizing art. Reaching beyond, yet holding back. Searching, seeking, playfully retreating. Passion flowing, then softly receding, winning. Watching resolutions breaking. Sun kissed valley. Soft wayward breeze, freshly sown barley in virgin fields. Yesterday lies engulfed by eternity. Part wakeful, part in spellbound sleep. Lips languid, tracing passion's dreams. Afterglow of ecstasy. Like a peacock unfurling its exquisite trail. Jumki stretches. Rolls her eyes in triumph and smiles. Just a 
and empty depth, gone like shifting light. Ananda, Ananda, why did you leave? Tonight I lie on sheets. My body tinted in shades of love, fluttering like an injured dove, fluttering like an injured dove. Ananda. Nanda, come back to me. Set me free. Phantom of a surreal night. Eluding the grip of worldly life. She knows he would not look back. Nor fall again. In her mesmeric trap or dwell on her sensuous charms, her deeper realms, her infinite powers that fought the gods for one endless night and held them back from their coveted prize. Was he a man? Or an ethereal form? His body an apparition? A receding mirage? A divine gift? She decides, then softly smiles with a prayer for him. Young, restless man, in quest of God, may you find him when you reach his door. When you reach his door. <laughs> visions of another life, smoldering, melting, fading away, his fists held tight, conquering the remains of past lives, fires dying, some gone wild, Stars, moons, and traveling lights. Now behold this breathtaking sight. Like a meteor shooting through the night. Journeys of that restless mind. Soaring eagle, wings taut, sublime. Surging to the final rise, ascending the seven stages of divinity. Behold the birth of a greater energy. Ananda fulfills karmas untold. Around his head, the radiance of gold. It has happened! Ananda has found divinity! The word spread wide, the word spread strong. In the monastery of Arna, a saint is born. 
And so they throng, rows of humanity, swaying lines serpentine long, worshippers at the doors of God, partners in the bond of pain, believers in the power of faith. A woman draped in pure white veil, wearing her widowhood like a restless sail. Etched pain on a brutalized back shown. A body, a carved tombstone. Stone drapes on a battered wife, covering herself with her shredded pride. A leper, a leper with oozing wounds. Crying babies on tired breasts. Clinging to their mothers like birds in nests. A nubile face marred by pearly boils, warring diseases, their triumphant spoils. A soldier's bearing emblem-shaped caches, his dreams of glory in smoldering ashes. And just for one glance, this lonely soul, miles behind the hungry droves, walking like a tired troll, his body dragged on broken pegs. The man they called Poor wooden legs. I will split the stars with my screams. No more the discarded child. In this body exile. It was a dream. It was a dream. Anxiety grows, yet patience stays until finally Ananda's body sways. Silence strikes as faith and prayers pave the way, and so they finally rise. Those mystical eyes, life affirming eyes, the crowds rise and swarm to see the eyes of the healer and seek the spiritual energy. Each ailing one. Blessed with his gaze of eyes filled with seething cosmic rays, caressing disease, soothing pain, soaking tears. Tracing each atom, each single grain. His healing eyes finally waver, eclipsed. 
of intensity. Faint breath and fading energies. Drawing from parched reservoirs. One more sufferer. O oh Lord, let me heal. Give him some respite. Ananda feels his senses retreat. Eyes shut in deep meditative repose. Journeys past hemispheres. Fading shorelines in quest of celestial mysteries. To heal once more disease, pain, its miseries. Cartwheels of day and night. Cosmic play of dark and light. Earth, a charmed roomy dancer, gently twirls, swooning, spinning, hypnotically driven. Circling the ring of undying reason, questioning, The mystery of her existence. Seeking divine enlightenment for eternal spring to her changing seasons. On a thousandth revolution, Ananda repeated the golden mantra. Helpless under the force of that sensation, Ananda opened his eyes. Dazzling light, a glowing apparition. An ethereal beauty draped in red. Maya, the Raja's young bride. Lips curved, innocence unchecked, Gentle smile, like bows outstretched. Slender neck, ancestral jewels bedecked. Sparkling diamonds, sapphires, emeralds. Frail wrists bonded in bridal bangles. Dainty feet, chained in intricate anklets, soft, silken, wind-rippled hair, and sun-kissed hands, a woman from an alien land.
while the faithful wait in long winding lines, men, women, the ailing child, Ananda gazes mesmerized, spellbound by the woman by his side. charmed moment she had seized the healer's eyes. Restive hordes in despair, streams of pain rent the air. His senses, encased within her soul, in a trance beyond control, did speak to hers. My soul is a lonely hunter that traversed the stars in wonder. From where passion does flow, but through the echoes of thunder. From that unseen sanctum where love enshrouds the soul through the eternal path to surrender. From where the mirage of my existence will blend into yours forever. His 
his eyes grew red in despair. Shaking in angry jolts. Gallop like a horse in the wild. Tearing through his legless strife, holding up his glistening knife. Incense burning, tobacco singeing, soul scorching. Sweating bodies, dust clouds rising, wounds bleeding, devils smiling, aromas mingling, gods reclining, pain shining. Canopy of woven flowers encased. Ancient bridal bed, silver inlaid. She lay in her gilded cage, draped in soft silken sheets. Beautiful Maya. Eyes serene, through wafts of incense smoke, she sees floating images in merging scenes, drifting lands in fluid tracks, melting faces in candle wax. Raja admires his exquisite queen, his restless breath against her skin, firm hands through her body slide. Thoughts in turmoil, her mind a spin, soft shaking voice cleaves the night. My lord. If you want to live with me, my body can never belong to thee. For I have taken a holy vow. And though I shall serve your every need, forgive me this, my destiny. Shaking in retreat, the Raja searches her eyes, flickering flames of firelight. Stunned, he realized that she was lost to some glorious spell between two worlds, transcending to Nirvana, where monks and priests and angels dwell.
hands still red with henna, intricate patterns of days unknown, hair perfumed with jasmine flowers, till fragrant, sweet dew of valleys afar. Stamping of heavy feet as the Raja moves away to leave Maya. Gaze guiltless, free. Esoteric innocence, like running brooks flowing, clear expression, devoid of mortal fear. The Raja turns back by an inexplicable divine order. Moving like a shadow, fortitude giving way to anger, a player in heavenly games and celestial plans. Glitter, sequence drapes of chiffon, blatantly a shimmer. this music. No more. Maya. Maya. She spins through my mind. I see it. I see it in her eyes. I will follow the Rani where she may go. And if she does have a lover, I swear in the name of the Lord of the Thousand Sun, he will lie dead at your door. Come with his body or send me yours. Soft-footed in reverence, steps back, face forward as into the blanket of night did her swaying form merge. Ego injured, honor at stake, the Raja then mounted his faithful steed. Ancestral sword held unsheathed. Bugle calls from the ramparts of palace walls an army of soldiers did he lead. Yearning for the battlefield, his tragic yet spellbinding din to fight a war that he could win. The ancient seat of learning, Arna. The sun resists setting. It burns, it smoulders, it suffers. At last, it melts.
where sunrise is not merely for light, but each morning an awakening, a luminescence, an insight. Through amber glow rising, clouds ascending, cascading, anointing, caressing. Winds whispering, playfully billowing. Stretching steeples, watching them rise. Yearning to touch the sacred skies. Like the arms of holy men, reaching for blessings divine. in rows, guards in stone stand vigil on moonless nights, forever loyal, frozen, patient and still. Do you hear them now? Whispering through the night, the ghosts of dead men, chanting without respite. The sacred walls of Arna, breathing from each pore, inhaling, holding, softly exhaling. Energy surging, moving, waiting, shifting. The dance of creation struggling. So hear them tonight, the living walls of Arna. Touch them, feel them, sense their strife. Ananda, come out of the spell. Their breath. 
breath. An ocean of learning, confluence of rivers, where deep wisdom met fierce intellect. Warm your soul on a cold winter's day. Men of insatiable earthly desires until your soul and mind are enriched and you shine like a beacon through the firmament. Walk through this cloud of knowledge and with its mist be drenched Devotees weep in gratitude, pursuers of an elusive god, tracking his fading footsteps to Arna's doors. But this night would have no end. As head priest of Arna, he suffered, he wondered, he agonized, his mind transfixed on the healer's eyes. Walking in quick, anxious strides, robes flowing down his awesome height, embracing each holy priest as he arrived. Candles flickering, bees rotating, lips chanting, 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 wheels churning, forever turning. Planets swirling, stars burning, prayers repeating, repeating, repeating. Shadows fading, fading. Deep into the night. Congregation of monks and priests, tomorrow's gods, thinkers, wise men indeed. Ananda, Ananda, Ananda. A million moons later, a Mahatma was born. Ananda, you were the chosen one. Suggestions, mantras, talismans. Rolls of yellow flaking, scriptures read. Is there a way to crack this spell? Tolling Arna's ancient bells, calling on their unknown strengths. As Ananda sat beyond mortal reach, the greatest of men did humbly retreat and at the doors of Arna accept defeat. Dharam, worn out, lay as his body slept, mind in chasm, entering another realm. Moist brow and beads of sweat, a restless night of visions and sounds. Gods, angels, spirits did abound. Bring him his mother. Mystic paths and invisible guides, Kamla gazed into her son's eyes. 
with a sense that sight denies. Ravaged by time, silver-haired, old and blind, following the scent of her child, evoking the forces a mother's womb enshrines. Ma. Breaking a silence for that invincible word that encompassed all creation, celestial spaces, the universe. Ah, Ananda, my son, I am blind. Bring back your powers. Give me my eyes. Don't weep, my son. Don't weep. Beautiful child, I see you beyond sight. The gods and the saints appear in your light. For one final touch, her hand on his face, feeling her child like sacred braille. Then pulling away, she let herself say, The spiritual path is your destiny. My gifted one, I bless your infinite journey. full moon, cosmic ministrations, the energy, the gravitation, the irresistible force of a sacred night. Fireworks spark, flaming kites, planets just born, some silently died. Helpless between divine games, Maya stares at Ananda's face. His eyes search her like a maze. Smother her with anxious gaze. Her womb they gently embrace. The fulcrum of her lonely womanhood. An empty, aching, yearning space. Oh, humanity, what are you but specks of sand that left your barren homes? in search of lusher lands and floating on the wings of timeless time found your being in your mother's womb that cosmos gentle benign that galaxy all matter blooms 
A teardrop spilled from her eye. A lonely, shimmering firefly. Instinctively, his hand did rise. Long, shivering fingers gently wipe. Soft skin singes. A touch. A spark electrified. His face flushed, crimson red, moist body sheathed in glistening sweat. Her lips part, flushed in shades of bliss. Then a quick step back from the precipice. United in perfect synchrony, the lovers shut their yearning eyes, floating images in melting shades, jagged visions on vaporizing screens, breaking embankments, tsunamis of passions freed. Acts of love in metaphysical ways, consciousness to its zenith rises. His hands still, she feels their touch, emotion seething, a sensual clutch. Like leaping flames, the two entwine. The night oil burns, a heady wine. Aromatic incense, through senses seep. Caressing sensations, infinite, deep. His mind then sees a luminous speck Traveler on his final trek. Maya shook with a splendid jolt. Her face, her body shone like gold. A smile spread across her face, caressing the miracle her womb encased. Hearts filled with gratitude, a wordless promise made in solitude. It's you? It is you! Ananda! No, no, not you! Ananda, not you! I... I gave you my body, yet you took away my soul. And from that night, when my being you stole, I have been yours, my life, my whole. Though the Raja will hang me tonight, I, I cannot do this bidding told. I cannot abide. For you, Ananda, I give up my life. Let it be for me, this golden knife. For you, Ananda, I give up my life. <laughs> Little did they realize, they were watched that night by dark, treacherous, piercing eyes. The man they called poor wooden legs. Like a swan I will dance. God, give me one chance! creation's spell. Life encased in a sacred shell. Elixirs of motherhood flow through her veins. Flushed in peace 
and numbing pain. Hands dipped in healing oils and Vedic herbs. Faithful maid and confidant, her body gently rubbed. Court soprano, a soothing note plays. Rose drenched waters in pools of mineral clay. Maya sensed motherhood swell as the Raja stared at her form. Perplexed, his eyes on her. Silence deep fills the air, broken by hesitant footsteps. She walks to him, a formless apparition, softly whispers. Uh, uh, I'm with on his undestined path did like lightning rise an impatient knock before he could strike in the doorway stood an ageless saint born with the earth said many a tale himself the ancient reincarnate At his feet, the Raja did humbly prostrate. Your wife has virtue. Stands she not in shadows of shame. Her body carries an invincible soul, an ethereal creation, glowing like a golden globe in heaven, where life alone can permeate. At the age of eight, he will roam away to become the Masiha of another day. And he shall wait for a thousand lives. And when hell and fire consume the world, he will from his timelessness alight to be the savior of a crumbling earth. Give this child your protection, your kind abode. Maya, like a diva glowed, touching the pinnacle of womanhood, resplendent in beauty and mystical motherhood. Color palette of the unknown painter. Grand canvas signed, invisible dreamer. Wind brushed strokes on floral bursts, emerald chandeliers, Crystal waters. Nature's magnificence unfolds.
the timeless forests, secret vaults of Genesis conserved, the symphony, the orchestra of hummingbirds, leaping deer in rhythmic herds, this joyous wild, where life did love life, trickling waters, bountiful trees, did abound with generosities, and peace had come. All creatures wild, soft glow of nightfalls, tamed them mild. When silence dense did prevail, when no sound did that sacred moment assail, Maya felt her body release the gift of life to infinity. Ananda's child of ethereal love was born. Born into a world that would one day plead for peace and gasp for air and strive for nature and relentlessly pray and he the lord of nature would from his sanctum rise to save the children of another day and to the night glow did she hold that child for ananda to behold and to shelter in his eyes. The Lords worship me. Watch this sight. I am the creator, a goddess tonight. A night of conspiracy, dark and moonless. still with dark dreams, fired by darker energies. The village men did congregate, desperate vigilantes sipping arak in a drunken state. Camouflaged faces and ragged capes she must die, she must be slain, or all our dreams will be in vain. Kill her! For your ailing child, kill her for your mother's life. Slay her ministrations, a deep design. Free once more the healer's eye. The predator of the moonless night, the man they called Wooden Legs. She must die! She must die! Lift up your arms if you do agree! And then he smiled silently, watching the final seal on his conspiracy. The mountain stood still, silent, divine, witnessed the floating chariots of time. The autumn leaves fell from their exalted place, mingling with earth in cosmic disgrace. The holy river flowed along, soft nightingale sang her last summer song. Shuffling feet dragged themselves through the enchanted, unchanging landscape. Her gentle face spoke of days lived and gone by, 
soft silver hair shone in fading skies. The night was hot, the wind blew strong, orange dust, forebodings of a storm. Ananda waited silently, restless eyes shifting, impatiently searching, like a form in stone coming to life. His agitation grew. The skies had lost the glow of light. Maya had not come tonight. And then a commotion on the temple steps. Marani Ma! Beloved queen, <laughs> on the mountain edge, lies sleep. <laughs> Will someone send the priest for her last prayers? <laughs> Cracking statue of alabaster white, springing, moving, coming to life. Ananda threw his head to the skies. My. Rising crescendo, ricocheting from rocks, planets, and celestial depths. Lunging down jagged temple steps. Anguished, an injured panther in distress. Leaping, running, a creature gone wild. Ananda reached the palace gates, holding on to the iron plates. Let him in, this holy saint. The Raja looked into his face and sensed their strangely shared fate. Maya lay in a gilded bed, flower bedecked, marigold and red, fresh petals, roses, a resplendent headrest, lifeless yet lovely. A statue in fine ivory. Ananda stared on, mystified, caressing her with hallowed eyes. Maya! 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 The dying sun, newborn stars, his voice awakened the very gods from their serenity. Take him away! This poor, insane priest! Maya! Evoking that tryst with eternity. To see you, I opened my eyes. Today, your gaze you cannot deny. Bells rang through mystical heavens while all stood still, stricken. On their feet, Maya opened her eyes. Stunned silence, disbelief, as the queen rose formlessly, and like drifting leaves in a stormy breeze, the enchanted lovers walked hand in hand to an unseen waiting land, where gods and saints and angels do dwell. Their life was a prayer, all chance over. The gods were quenched, their souls 
set free. The cycle of birth and death silenced. Stillness, peace and dreamless sleep. <laughs>